This is me, Dr. Legger Man, bringing you a Captain Jack figure review. Now I'm going to hold off the usual joke that you're probably all expecting me to do, but this is, it is World War II jumpsuit, maybe World War One. I, I can't remember, I haven't watched the episode in ages, although it's a great one. Anyway, this is from The Empty Child and, well, and the Doctor Dances, and He's got, obviously he's got that fringe that was present in the Torchwood figure, although I don't recall him having a fringe in Torchwood. Anyway, usual hair, great hair, and the face, good likeness to John Barrowman, although I can see Christopher Reeve in there, who used to play Superman. Don't know why. Maybe in the next Captain Jack figure they can channel some Henry Cavill to keep the Superman f vibe going. Or, anyway, he's got that ascot with the little collar, that light blue collar, and the jumpsuit with the short straps, the two breast pockets, the button, and the Air Force logo belt, and just black shoes. Great figure, I have to say. But, the one problem I do have is, I don't know why I can see Christopher Reeve in that. It's, you can see John Barrowman, but if you see any old Superman films like I have, you see Christopher Reeve in there as well. I'm not sure if that's lack of detail or just you. Anyway, articulation, the head, the collar restrains it a bit, but it can do the full, well, can't do the full 360. Arms, yep, standard, and so do the legs. This guy does not come with any accessories for some reason. Well, could have come with a square and a gun. Or the banana, because also the Oswin figure was released with a souffle. I'm sure Captain Jack would be released with a banana. Or, well, I'm not sure what he could be released with. A vortex manipulator. A long coat. Anything, really. Anyway, so that's my figure. Or, that's that's my review of the Captain Jack figure review. And I've just got to say this. Barrowman! See you next time.